What's up guys? Drone B here. And uh, I wanted to make a video on trap accounts. A lot of people are always asking me about trap accounts and uh, what I'd recommend on it. So uh, I've attacked a lot of trap accounts, but until today I've never actually made one. So uh, I, I made one just for this video. Uh, the packs are so good in this realm. This is an older realm that for $25 I was able to make an 18 mil, uh, 18 mil trap account. So uh, to give you an idea, like, look at this. It's, it's an older realm for sure. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, so I made this trap account, guys. Um, it's a budget trap account, so it's not, not perfect, but, but uh, I should be able to use it to get the point across. So what is a trap account? A uh, trap account is an account that is uh, built to look like a good target. Like, you'll see it. Oh, a Citadel 22. I should be able to take that. Some guy will teleport in, send an attack. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't think a, an 18 mil player would be too, too strong in an older realm. But uh, because I did some things, it's pretty easy to capture heroes. Now, I'm not sure how this would hold up versus a T5. Um, I, I, I'll have to try to get one to attack me, but uh, it certainly decimates the T4 accounts. <laughs> yeah, so that's the idea. Um, now what I did, when building a trap account, there's a couple things you want to do. You want to keep your power as low as possible and be as strong as possible. So one way to do that is I didn't make any extra buildings, so uh, that saves a little bit, a couple thousand power. And also another thing is you don't want to level your hero more than you have to. So uh, my goal is I'm going to level him up to 45 because at 45 you can craft a lot of the uh, the glacier gear. Glacier, glacial, yeah, yeah. I think it's at 45. So that, that's my goal. I'm not going to level them above 45 at all. I'm just going to get them to 45 so I can craft the Glacian gear. And uh, this is really good trap account gear. It's got great troop attack and great armor too. And the troop attack's really what you want for trap accounts. So in order to get your, your troop attack as high as possible, I'd recommend building mostly barracks, and uh, these barracks will give you just a that little extra bit of troop attack, right? It's not much, 2% per building at, at uh, Citadel 20, so that's not too bad. Uh, I also made, I think, just three hospitals, and that's just so I have a little extra uh, uh, hospital capacity. Uh, you know, it's kind of nice that way. It's tougher to zero me. I can, if I'm online, I can just keep healing every every uh, healing every wave. So that's what I would recommend. Mostly barracks. Another nice thing about barracks is it's a whole lot quicker to train troops, uh, or quicker to mass train troops because I can train eleven thousand at a time, and uh, you know, with this many barracks at this this uh, level. But that's a lot better than training 2,000 at a time, because how many times do you have to click train, speed, train, speed? It's a hassle. So uh, another thing, guys, on trap accounts, I would not build any siege. I would have no siege, because siege are weak against any uh, attacking troops. So I would avoid, avoid building siege, and... Um, yeah, so I have on this account, I think it's uh, 2 million, uh, well, let's see, yeah, yeah, 2 million, 300,000 about. And that's way more than I need for uh, T4. So what I'm going to do to try and uh, test out a couple different things for you guys, I'm going to dismiss a few thousand of these. thousand boom and uh, yeah I'm doing this I want to uh, 
a lot of people are curious a couple things. One, if traps are worth building on traps accounts, and uh, uh, if traps are worth building on trap accounts, or if uh, the lower tier troops are worth building. So we're going to test that out. I'd be kind of curious. I've actually never tested it out. So I'll learn with you guys. <laughs> And uh, really, whatever uh, age your realm is, guys, you can build trap accounts. Uh, how many troops you build will largely depend on how strong the people are in your realm. So if you're in a weaker realm, you can actually have a level 14 Citadel trap account. Uh, you know, just mass produce a bunch of T2 troops on it. And it's the same principle. You want to do as much attack as you can. Because attack is what's going to allow you to capture the opponent's hero. And uh, any defense you have, uh, you're sacrificing attack for it, but it will give your troops more survivability, which is, you know, it's kind of nice, but, but the idea of a trap accounts to capture the hero. So, so Sentinel Gear, while it's really nice for like defensive purposes, it's not going to help you capture the uh, opponent's hero at all. So, so ideally, you could go all Arbiter gear, or um, now my plan is to do uh, Mercenary gear, and eventually build Mercenaries on this account. So uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to, I'll probably have to level level my Citadel up to build the, uh, I think it's Citadel 25, you can make uh, level 5 Mercenaries. I'm not positive, but I'll, it's at least above 25. Uh, that's the end game. I'm going to have mercenary troops and uh, be really strong, but deceptively strong. And uh, I'll have to upgrade my gear too. I mean, this is okay for a, a $25 trap account, but ideally I'd want to do quite a bit more attack than that. Yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do here is release the hero. And let's see if... Uh, We'll see if I dismissed enough troops that I can actually take it down now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so uh, uh, another thing, guys, on the trap accounts, what I would recommend is uh, at Citadel 22, well, there's a couple points. At Citadel 14 is a good trap level for uh, newer realms because people don't expect, uh, you know, a Citadel 14 to have a ton of level 2 troops. And uh, one thing you want to do is max all your research for your Citadel. Uh, particularly all your combat research you want maxed out for the Citadel. And also all the defense. And I chose Citadel 22 uh, because at, at 22 it unlocks uh, the level 7s of, of these. And also you can uh, unlock these to 2 for this level. Yeah, yeah, 22. So, so 22 is a good, good level for a trap account. Uh, but yeah, 14, 19 is a good level because at 19... Uh, you can, uh, it's good to max all your research at Citadel 19 before you go up to 20, because at 20 your hero can be banished. So uh, a lot of people, they stay at 19, they max out all their research, then they go up to 20. And, uh, and 22 is a good point for chap account. The next good level is 25, because at 25 it unlocks the next set of... Uh, uh, this one is really good, this city defense attack. So if at 25, if I unlock this, that'll give me another 30%, 33, oh, 37% attack bonus. And that's huge. So uh, just a few levels. Also, the walls, um, as you upgrade your wall, your city defense attack goes up too. So, so at Citadel 25, you'll get a little bit more attack bonus out of your wall as well which is nice. Uh, yes, yeah, so I didn't dismiss enough troops apparently because <laughs> I still catch them. <laughs> so, uh, 
So let's see, uh, this is, that's at 11 million, so, so that's pretty solid, right guys? 11 million taken out, uh, level 68 prompto. But, uh, yeah, so now we got to dismiss some more troops. And go ahead and uh, speed this up too. See how uh, how close I was on that. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'll probably have to dismiss another hundred thousand on each. Alright, let's try this again. I think we got it this time. So we have uh, 9 million power and 240k of each troop. Um, as far as research goes, guys, I'd max out your combat, uh, max out your defense, and if you want, you can you can work on your crafting as well, because that boosting the uh, the hero gear will help quite a bit. As far as your hero, I really wouldn't focus at all on this, um, because it's going to add power to your account, and it's really not going to help too much. I mean, these these two uh, these two might help, and above. Uh, after four, you can upgrade some troop attack, but it's not not very significant. And I'd avoid the economic altogether. Uh, the adventure tab, hospital capacity was nice, and uh, the big one is if you can get this city defense attack up, that would be awesome. Really, all three of these are good. And uh, oh, you could even do this trap building. Huh, well, eh, not necessary, but you could. So let's see how that one went. We were victorious. So look at that. We almost almost didn't uh, remove enough. So that's that's something, right, guys? Nine million account for twenty five dollars, and we're <laughs> we're stuffing my my initial main account. So uh, let's uh, heal these troops up, and we're going to build some traps and see if that's enough to uh, capture the hero. So I do have pits researched, and 13,000 divided by 3 is, uh, what's that, 4,300? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, another thing, guys. I'm doing all this, and I don't have any gems yet. I, uh, I don't have a single gem, so, I mean, that could make a huge difference. If you have level 5, level 6, level 7 gems, and put, like, the warrior attack, the cavalry attack, any defense attack, you're going to do way more damage. So uh, I need to find a way to get gems for nothing. <laughs> it's tough to do on the, uh, you know, brand new accounts. Let's see, victorious again. 
Uh, so we killed, we did kill more troops there, didn't we? We killed here 5,100 survived, and with the traps, so we only killed 200 more troops. Um, and it looks like here we lost uh, 9,700 troops. So, so what it did is we killed slightly more, and it uh, we actually total loss we actually lost uh, slightly more because more traps died, and quite a bit more power lost with the traps too. So, uh, what I would say, guys, now as a trap account, the idea is to capture the enemy hero. So I'd go ahead and build the traps, even though uh, two things. One, you're more likely to be defeated with the traps because, as you can see here, he actually, uh, my other account actually destroyed more with the, uh, with the traps. More was lost. And uh, I don't think I killed more, enough to make up for that lost amount, did I? 31, 80. So we killed just a couple hundred more troops, but we lost 3,000 more total. So you're more likely to lose with the traps, actually. Uh, that's interesting. One other thing I did want to try, guys, is uh, people always say to send exact even amounts. Oh, wow, I destroyed all the traps. <laughs> interesting. Let's go ahead and heal up. So every single trap died there. Now I'm going to try making one more trap. On that I did 4,333 on each. And people say to do that, to have them completely even, but uh, we're going to test that out real quick because that's another thing I'm curious about. All right, another test. So let's try this again. Let's just see if it's, uh, you know, in theory you'd think it'd be pretty close, right? Like, like maybe absolutely the same. <laughs> but we'll test it out quick. All right. And since no troops died, uh, it should be identical. And uh, if you want to go more defensive, like more for surviving, you could build all hospitals or more hospitals. Um, again, though, you're not going to be as likely to capture the hero. But you're going to be way tougher to, to zero, which is kind of nice. So let's see. You'd think it'd be the same. Let's find out. Uh, 22782. 22782. So the same. And the same amount killed also. So, uh, yeah, don't feel bad if you build, like, one extra trap. It doesn't really make a difference, apparently. <laughs> cool. So now what we're going to try is uh, I'm going to build a ton of T1 and, and see if it makes a difference. Cool. Alright. So now let's train some uh, let's train some T1. I'm thinking maybe I'll do, um, let's do 10, 10 of each. Yeah, 10 of each. Let's do it.
Uh, nine is good enough. So 100,000 of each. Now one nice thing about the T1 is it's going to act as a meat shield. So I won't lose as many um, as many T3s for, for bigger players. If, you know, if a T5 is attacking me, the T1 is going to get wiped out pretty quick. But, but the T3 should survive a little better. We'll test it out, though. So 99.8k of each. Let's see if that makes any difference. And in uh, one thing guys, I could be wrong on this, but I think the T1 troops die before T3 traps. So uh, that, that's one thing I'm curious about here, is uh, before I lose any traps, do all my T1 have to die? And I think the answer to that is yes. Oh, I was defeated. Look at that. Look at that. 77,000 died. Yes, I didn't lose any traps. So T1 troops die before the traps. And I think that T2 troops die with the T3 uh, lightning pit traps. So, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'll just dismiss the rest of the T1. And we'll try the same thing with T2. But one thing that's interesting is uh, we did kill quite a bit more with that T1. So 3, uh, 300,000 T1 we were closer to capping the hero, but we are defeated pretty cleanly. <laughs> Let's dismiss those. We'll try the same thing with T2 troops instead. Okay, let me look at the power quick. So we've got 9,279,000. We'll see what the, the T2 gets us up to. So that adds 1.2 million power. So 10 million power, it looked like a, like that's a, a person I would normally attack without even thinking about it. Like I probably wouldn't even scout at a 10 million power. So let's see, uh, let's see how it does. One thing I'm curious is I, I want to say that T2 troops die with the T3 pit traps. So that's certainly what I'll be looking for on this. 
Oh, we're pretty close. This might be just enough to cap it. We'll see. Oh, weird. I was defeated, but no troops survived. <laughs> uh, interesting. So I guess in that scenario, you release the hero. So uh, even though I killed all his troops, his hero survived because he killed more. That That's cool to know. So uh, it was really close. So look at that, guys. It was only 2,200 troops. So in this case... Um, I guess the T2 actually hurt me because more died than than were necessary. Uh, let me let me look at that. Let's see who, uh, how the traps played out. Okay, so so yeah, so the traps die along with the tier two troops. So T3 traps die with tier two troops, and uh, so I'm guessing that tier two traps die with tier 1 troops and uh, if you have beyond the pit, so you, let's say you have the ward defense traps those are going to die uh, at the same time as your T3 troops so that's kind of cool I'm going to try the same thing guys but with no traps uh, I'm curious if that that will make it actually well, let's see here how, how many traps did I lose I didn't lose much, 185 on each. Okay, actually I don't think it would make a difference. But look at that. Okay, so so in this case, the T2 actually did hurt me. So uh, now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get up to the same power. Uh, it was uh, 10 million, just over 10 million 400,000. But I'm going to do it with only T3 troops and see uh, which does better for the power. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay, so we've got 9,273. Let me go ahead and build the traps back up. Uh, 185 on each. Alright, so we need to build one Point one million troops, and uh, let's see. T three. Each one has. Let's see what kind of power. Six power. So uh, let's say one point two million divided by six. Is that twenty thousand of each? Let's see if my my math is right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop some. Six up, do it. Let's see. Oh, quite a bit more, actually. Apparently, I failed miserably at my math. getting there.
Let's see, so that's about the same power. And um, let's see, so we had, um, what was it, 250 ish? So we added about 50,000 each T3. Maybe a little less. But yeah, so there's your power. Now let's see if that'll do it. So this will test out if it's worth building T1 and T2 troops. I'm thinking it's probably not if it's going to cause you to lose more easily. Um, and also, I would not build a lower level trap than... Um, I, you want your traps to die uh, ideally at the same time as your troops. <laughs> so I wouldn't, I wouldn't build uh, lightning traps. So you guys got it. So at 10 million, 400,000, we were able to do it. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I'd avoid building, um, I, I would only build your highest tier troop. I, I don't see any benefit to building the lower, lower level. Uh, at least, not on this account. Now, maybe, maybe if you had just so many troops that, um, you know, if you have enough, it might work. <laughs> but, I'm thinking no, I'm thinking just stick with the highest tier troop you can build. Because same power, yet we capped the hero on this one and lost less. And we probably just lost our traps, right? Yeah, and a little bit of troops. Cool. Uh, I'm going to try one more thing, guys. Let's try the same thing, but with no traps. So we captured them anyway, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so again, we actually lost less in total without the traps. 214 power with the traps, and uh, we only lost 115 power without the traps. So I'm thinking, guys, only build the highest tier troop you can. So if you have T3 troops, I'd only build T3. If you have T4, I'd only build T4. Um, if you have T2, I, you know, if that's your highest you have unlocked, I'd only build T2 troops. Because, uh, and, I, and I, I wouldn't build traps, to be honest. I would just avoid it. It didn't seem like we killed, it didn't make much difference on this anyway. We actually lost less without the traps. So, uh, now, now, so if you want to build the traps, you will, it will give you slightly more chance to killing the, the opponent. I think, what did we kill, like a thousand, uh, or like 500 more troops with the traps? So it could be the difference, but it could also be the reason you lose if you build the traps. So certainly if you capture a hero, I wouldn't rebuild the traps. Uh, maybe maybe you want to go ahead and build the traps before you're attacked. And then if you cap a hero, then I would not rebuild the traps. I'd just let them go because they're more likely to cause you to lose. Cool. Uh, so I keep getting some questions. What do you do against trap accounts? Like, so say, say I see this guy, and uh, so I, I'm. Let's say I'm Drone B here, and I see this little guts, and I look at him. And I'm like, oh, he looks like a trap account. Um, how am I going to take him out? What am I going to do? And uh, 
really the best way to take out trap accounts is to, to recruit people <laughs> to help. Because the, this kind of account is great against solo attacks. But the minute you double up the amount of T4, like, so he, so with Prompto, he can only send 36,000. If he gets somebody else in there with T4, you know, and he's sending 60,000, for sure I'm going to lose. So, uh, so if you recruit people to help you take out traps, that's your number one bet. But if not, um, we're going to do some more tests here. One thing I'm curious about is if I have traps, is that going to uh, mean it's better to send siege? So let's, let's test this out quick. So the question is, how do you take out trap accounts? And one of the things I'm wondering is if you send a siege attack, when they have traps, if, if you will actually win. <laughs> because we know I lose if I don't, if I just send a mix of troops, I definitely lose on this. If I send 12,000 of each, it's a, a sure defeat. No, we did worse. So, uh, what this means, guys, is I would not send siege at all if you're attacking a trap empire. Uh, I think the siege marches, they're just not worth it. Because <laughs> you're going to kill the traps anyway, most likely, if you're close to being able to beat them. So, uh, so really, I wouldn't attack with siege at all. I wouldn't have any siege in my marches if I'm attacking a trap account. Here, really, I think your best bet on taking out these trap accounts is just send wave after wave. You know, and, and it can be really costly to try and do that. So, really, if you want to take out a trap account, your options are <laughs> to send infinite amount of solo waves. And ideally, if you can send waves faster than he can rebuild them, or uh, heal his troops up, you're going to eventually whittle them down. Uh, but, but really, you got to probably recruit somebody if you don't do that. Yeah, so that's the art of trap accounts, guys. To uh, do as much attack as you can and try and cap the hero. If I wanted to get this hero back, I'd probably have to go crazy with solo marches. Let's just, uh, let's just see what I can do with some solo marches here. So it looks like I'm killing about 6,000 troops 
each attack. So uh, it would take four attacks just to get through the wounded to actually start killing troops. So, <laughs> yeah, so this is a pretty good trap account, guys. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, so I, I'd focus mainly on barracks, maybe have a couple hospitals just for the healing capacity. Uh, again, max out your research for your citadel. And I'm not quite there. I, I need to uh, uh, do a couple more upgrades. I can get all of these to 10. So I need to do that. That's going to increase my attack quite a bit. So uh, it's a good idea for your trap account. Another thing I can do is uh, really my gear's not that great right now. The only items, only these three items are actually doing anything. Got 38% troop armor, uh, troop armor here, and some troop attack here. So we can do quite a bit more damage, uh, especially if I were to get mer mercenary troops, which is really the end goal. If I can get these things are ridiculous, guys. These uh, uh, cat cataplaws, cataplaw destroyers. These things are insane, insane in the membrane. So uh, you need the mercenary pits level five for them. But if I had if I had the max amount of those guys, people would see this account and they'd think, oh, we can take him out. And when they march in, they're going to get decimated. Uh, but as a free to play or a, you know like a, a low spending account, this adventurer tab can do wonders. Get this hospital capacity up. I mean that's significant you know, 5% per level, you get it up to 200%, you're only going to need one hospital with that kind of uh, capacity increase. And this, uh, really all three of these, if you can get this city defense attack, it'd be really nice. But the expedition fragments are pretty pretty tough to get. Uh, I mean, you slowly accumulate them if you're doing these adventure quests. So I would keep doing those. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Level up all your buildings uh, down here as much as you can. And uh, level. I need to level up my wall. That'll give me a little more attack. Finish off the research. Um, remove all these buildings. Also, guys, if you want to get real hardcore, uh, you can unlock the Order of Heroes. And that, if you uh, unlock... Uh, certain ones in the Order of Heroes, it would take two packs, but then you can get your city defense attack up even more. Or, uh, actually, let me, let me check this out real quick. So that Order of Heroes, if you get the Order of Might, uh, it'll increase your warrior attack. And the Order of Okay, so you're going to need Order of Magic, Order of Thieves. Oh, actually I lied. The only way, uh, so I take all that back. I wouldn't unlock this unless you have Luna. Because if you have Luna, that's when it, it applies the, uh, the, the bonus. Luna gives you... A uh, 44% defense bonus. So that's really not that great. Uh, Luna is great for trap accounts, so guys. So if if you want to go really hardcore on your trap account, I would get Luna. I'd get her to level 45. Uh, I, and if you do that, I would keep Noctis and Prompto as low as you can. Maybe if you even starting fresh, I wouldn't even level Prompt uh, Noctis. I would just get Luna and level Luna up to 45. Because uh, at 45, you can get the, uh, the really awesome mage, mage uh, boosting gear, which is great for great for everything. Really, it's just solid gear. I, I was looking at uh, uh, the Titan, the realm of the Titans who were there, and they all have this glacial gear. So get that glacian uh, at 45, you can get it. So if you get Luna to 45, unload on this gear. You could make like just a sick account for you know 10 million power. Like you could probably make you could probably be unattackable at 10 million. Uh, yeah, I'll show you this realm of the Titans, guys. It's going on now. 
there's some some pretty big guys here. Uh, uh, Citadel 49. <laughs> wonder wonder what he's got. Yeah, they they've all got that all legendary glacial gear, and I think the reason for that is um, you know once you get all legendary of it, you get the set bonus, and yeah, I haven't seen anybody else with any other gear really. Oh, actually, he's got the mercenary. Nice. That's pretty cool. But let's see who's got it. Uh, bad Vicky. Bad Luigi. Bad Vicky. Oh, nice. That that's pretty good. Yeah, these these Glacian necklaces are pretty pretty awesome. And this commander's blade. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, dude. Nice. 101 Prompto. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this was just surrounded by by crazy citadels earlier. I'm really surprised nobody in, in my realm's ever really gone for it. I mean we've got some some big players. I think Moe's got some pretty awesome gear. Dogma's got some good gear too. Let's see if I can find him. Yeah, so uh, anyways, I'm rambling on here. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and shut this down for you guys. All right, Drone B out.